Live, everybody. Okay, so we have some participants of the Grand Adventure, and we thought, why not just go live and let people ask questions? I can't say that me or K-Pro is going to answer anything, but you guys can say whatever you want to say about both of our puzzles. And yeah, maybe to give an idea, people out there and I do who haven't bought in how it works. So um, yeah, so those of you that are looking at the chat room on YouTube, you're seeing um, two screens, which is Nora, S. Michaels, myself, and Mike. Everyone else, there are, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more people that have their video off. Some of them have their audio off as well. And this is a traditional chat room that we do almost every day where these participants come together. Some share a lot, some share kind of medium, they chime in and some don't share at all. And it is a place to just discuss treasure hunting related to both Mike and I's puzzle. This is what we did for Mr. Clues. This is what we did, what we're going to do for Vegas Die and what we're going to do for AGK. So I know a lot of you said, um, <laughs> well, and as someone just said, I don't share because I don't have a lot. You know what? Sometimes you might have one little thing to say, or you wait until you have something to say. Some people share a lot of ideas. I'm one of those that share tons of ideas and nothing's really right until one thing is. Um, I, I go to these different seminars and things, and I always say, if I get one thing out of the different talks, that's great with me. So we wanted to start by saying, this is our traditional room. Um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 11 people in it. Um, I wanted to go live on Yellowstone, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, Mike was getting very upset because he was called out about be like throwing out errors. I don't know what happened. Uh, it was <laughs> not an error in a puzzle. I want to make sure that differentiator there is clear. It was not an error in a puzzle. At least we haven't found one yet. Uh, let's see. An error well, explanation. <laughs> yeah. So what we've told the room before we came in here, because this was kind of... Um, off the cuff is they can chime in and ask questions. We don't know if we're gonna answer them, but um, one of the members here had said something, actually, I think it was earlier today. Mike and I had a date, I don't think it was a date night, a date afternoon uh, where we went and shared a meal and we talked about this thing called objectivity versus subjectivity. And since we had this debate and it came up in <laughs> the chat room again tonight, we thought we would talk a little bit about that, um, but then also open it up. If you guys had additional questions, um, again, we might not answer them. We probably won't answer them. Um, and then Mike did have an error in something. I actually don't know because I don't like his puzzle. So I, I don't would believe it, but I have to re I guess it's true. Uh, apparently, when I gave a hint, I said something incorrectly because in my notes, it's correct. So all I'll say is I emailed everybody the correction. So everybody who's participating has the email. All the hints are in the descriptions of the video. <laughs> so if you go to puzzle 12, look in the description. That is correct, regardless of what I said before. OK, so um, no, Nick, you're not in trouble. I think this is a fascinating debate. Um, so subjectivity versus objectivity. So let's first define those terms. I see subjectivity and meaning um, I used this earlier tonight on date afternoon. Um, what is warm? Is warm 50 degrees, 70 degrees, 80 degrees, 90 degrees? Um, what is near? Is near one mile, two miles, 10 miles? Those are subjective terms. Objective would be like a binary code that says yes or no. I believe, and Mike and I can debate this, when you see the solve on my poem, it is going to be objective. Though I have been incredibly clever, incredibly clever with my particular way that I have embedded the clues, which I will tell you, there's over 50 of them. Every single one of them is objective. I will say maybe a couple are a little bit like confirmers kind of thing. But for the most part, I believe they're pretty much objective. I asked Mike if he agreed. And he Wish you weren't a liar. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> He's going to be single by the end of this night. Um, so, Mike, do you believe one? What? Okay, I believe my puzzle 
is objective with a couple of subjective. If you solved a tenth of the clues in my or hint, no clues in my poem, it is objective. It's binary. I, I I'm not making any comment on your puzzle. I got no comment on anything about your puzzle. We'll let the people decide when the solution comes out. No, that's. Well, I can't, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. And somebody's like, well, that's not, you know what I mean? No, so, but do, okay. Let me ask you this way. Do you believe that my poem is objective, like warm? Like if you solve the clues, they could mean okay. many different things. Um, yeah, again, I, I can't, cause I'm making mistakes left and right, apparently. So I don't want to say the wrong <laughs> thing. So. I mean, it has a solution. If, if people are think it's not wishy-washy, there's a solution. If people can get to it, I, I don't know. That's what we'll have to find out. But anyway, would you guys have any questions for us? We'll see if we can answer them or not. I, I'm I'm upset. I'm even more upset. I thought I was upset at Nick. I'm upset at Mike. There we go. Because you've seen the solution. You're the only one. Okay, I'm going to share it with Forrest, and Forrest will answer. Fine, leave it to Forrest. I thought you uh -huh. were the granddaddy of this treasure hunt. Nope, it's Forrest again. I don't think he will, but well, I you never know who Forrest might tell whether it's on purpose or on accident. <laughs> That's you might not want to tell him. Secret recordings. Well, no, I will just say whether you can figure yeah, it out. Sam. When... Sam's gonna stay quiet. It's a trick. <laughs> trick question. That's right. No, I'm I'm being serious. I will just say I appreciate what Nick is saying because it does say, well, it's kind of like the Forrest Fen when Forrest said his poem will take you to a 12 by 12 inch spot i'm just thinking how is that possible and i know he didn't let say ask, let me ask you this Kate, bro. that's a good point forrest fenn's poem subjective or objective it led if, you to a 12 inch by 12 inch spot if you believe forrest because we don't know the solution yet so in your mind is that objective or subjective in my mind if forrest fenn's poem took him to a 12 inch by 12 inch spot that poem I believe whether GPS, I don't know the method. I never got there, but if someone got there and figured it out and go it got it to a 12 inch by 12 inch spot, this right here, that is in my opinion, objective. And that's what my poem is. So if you look at the definition that way, I would guess I would agree that your poem is objective. That's true. But to oh, me, oh, wait, 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 before you quit, what? wait, 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 Nick, did you hear that? <laughs> but, but I think for us, yes, I heard everything. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> it's subjective because where warm water salt can be a million different things. You know what I mean? The blaze could be a million different things. Now we don't know the solution yet where we're, how we were supposed to figure it out. And that's well, the, what makes it objective or subjective, I think. So I think. Well, but here, here is the counterpoint that I made to Mike's point that he just made right now. Mike has not had as many wrong um, uh, submissions, but he's had wrong submissions. I said, well, isn't that subjective then? When somebody figures out my poem and figures out however many of the clues, they're going to not, like, I think some people are guessing, um, they're going to go, oh, my God, I finally figured it. And, like, something finally triggers. I think with Mike, his comes easier because it's advanced statistical knowledge that's no. at a... Uh, is there a poem you and Christy have done? If so, where is it? Okay, so World Famous Gamer, what we're talking about is the Grand Adventure. And the Grand Adventure, if you pay $20, you get access to my puzzles, K-Pro's puzzle, and the winner of each separately. There's a prize pool for separate. For each, that's what we're talking about. Uh, so I will say my puzzles are objective, but the master puzzle you, is probably subjective. And that's <gasps> all I'm going to say about that. No, then how did somebody... I know somebody submitted one or more of the mini or sub puzzles before the master incorrectly. How can you do that when it's objective? Because they're using the wrong method. I mean, anybody can come up with a solution. It's wrong because it's That's not. That's what I'm saying. They're using the I wrong use. method, but I have. Yeah, okay. okay. I guess. Yeah, I, I understand your point. So, okay. I guess your poem is. Sub no, I think uh, your poem is much more linear than mine is. Mm -hmm. Linear is different than objective and subjective than mine. Mine, you have to be much more outside of the box and different ways of thinking. Yours is there's one method for this one. There's one method for that one. You're much more linear. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, I get that. I think so. Yeah, I think that's fair. 
They're both good puzzles. It's just, but again, we're letting the people decide when the solutions come out because that's really, I mean, I may think my puzzles are the best, but a lot of the people are like, I don't even know where to begin with your puzzle. So is it a good puzzle? Maybe it's not. That's no, but they say the same thing about mine, out. but I mean. Oh, everybody knew where to begin. They were just wrong. Everybody had a Forrest Fenn quote, which is incorrect. That's not now true. They- that is not true. Okay. No, you see the emails. You know that's yeah, No, true. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Wait, we're live when we're doing this, right? This is not just lunch. We're live and this is staying up. So if anybody's got questions now, <laughs> it's time. Yes. Okay, we'll leave it to the room. Go ahead. Ask away. Fire away. Okay, bro, I'll ask you a question. Since you said there's about 30 to 50 to 174 uh, different riddles in your poem, do they stack on top of each other or like, can you answer them in any order? Okay, I didn't. Okay, I, I will correct and say I didn't say 174, but there is many more than people realize. I will say there are so, many. I think Alex is asking, are they separate? Can you do you have to I solve have, one in order? No, to solve I understand it? what oh. he's. I, I, I get it. Sorry. Um, no, that's okay. I I do understand what he's asking, and and Mike, back me up if you think that I'm being. I, I'm not trying to be um, red herring or inappropriate with my answer. I think there are many different methods, many different ways, and there is not a linear way. There are different methods. There is different lines. It is not like, oh, you go from line one and line two builds on it, line three builds on it, line four builds on it. There are different ways to do it, but all of them point to one thing, one short phrase. All of them point to that one. So I don't think it's linear. I think there's, Um. I think, I think there's, okay, let me go this bold. Somebody could find five of the clues out of the, let's just say it's 50. I don't know exactly how many, I'll count them up. Five of the 50, if they got the right five, I think they could solve it. I also think somebody could get 10 of the 50 and they are just the confirmers, like that last line, and it it won't get them closer. So I think some clues and hints are more important than others. Kind of like WWWH is the most important. If you don't have it, you don't have anything. There's something like that. There's a couple of hints. If you don't have those, you don't have anything. Is that fair, Mike? Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I would let the people decide once it comes out. I, I, I Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's like what you're saying what is right. What was that but, answer? What? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why the whole thing doesn't show on YouTube. Why aren't we really showing four people right now? Because anybody that has their video off, they don't show unless they talk. And if they oh, talk, you're right. they'll show their names. That, wait, I wait, I was what? I was you're, what? You're, you're right. I oh, forgot okay. about that little rule. That You're correct. So if somebody wants to turn on their video to test it, but that's fine if you don't. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to. No. All right. Um, so let me just say, apparently, when we gave our hints, I said one of mine incorrectly. Did I say this already? So I sent an email to everybody who's a participant. I sent an email, setting the record straight, and even gave you why those dice don't matter. So it's something new. So check out your email uh, and from me. Just well, as- Tracy <laughs> asked the important question. Tracy wants to know if we're married. No, we just argue like we are. There you go. Uh- <laughs> Yeah, and we tend. This is actually the biggest issue we have in our relationship, which is how do we build great puzzles to bring to the community? <laughs> is getting married subjective or objective? I don't oh. know. <laughs> oh. All right. Any other questions, everybody? Yeah. Mike, do all of your puzz all of your puzzles have a single theme, or are they all different? I can't answer that. That's for you guys to figure out. Oh, somebody did ask, and we've answered this, but I want to answer it again. Is Mike answers and my answer, Mike answers uh, and my answer at all related? Not at all in any way. Yeah, we designed the puzzles individually of each other, not even knowing what the other one was doing. So they're totally separate, have nothing to do yeah. with each other. Yeah. Okay, you guys, last chance. K Pro hey, will Soros help. Hey, Mike, what's your favorite uh, Indiana Jones movie? <laughs> I like all the Indiana, Indiana Jones movies are awesome, but I remember the first one when I was a kid because that's the first one, you know, in a theater type thing. But no, they're all pretty good. Will a thesaurus help? Um, I, I don't believe so. The only reason I say that is the only things that I have looked up is since 
to answer questions like here. Like somebody said, is wordplay at play? I had to work, look up wordplay. Ciphers, they asked me if ciphers were at play. I had to look up the word cipher. Um, so I don't believe so. I think it's so simple. Um, just some basic Google search is all you need. There's nothing like advanced quantum physics that Mike has. I heard there was one guy that's like, I tried this with my PhD class and they were like, oh, we can't do it. And Einstein came back from the dead. He said, gosh, this is too hard for me, Mike. I mean, it, it's tough. Would a thesaurus help with Mike's puzzles? Any of them? Ooh. No, I don't see how a thesaurus would help with any of my puzzles, no. I have a question for KPRO's puzzle. So when you discuss it being a riddle and you're identifying the puzzle as a riddle with riddles having double meanings, would you suggest, and this might go along the line with the uh, thesaurus, would you suggest looking at all the different meanings of every single word in your, in your, uh, in your riddle? No. What so do you, you think, don't Mike? have to do that. I don't think no. so. I don't think the, if you looked at, so how I'm interpreting the question is, let's say you look at the word, um, there's the word kid. If you look at the word kid, it means a small, mm -hmm. young human being. And it's also a goat. And it's also, I, I could come up with three or four different, that won't help you with the different definitions or even different um, languages, et cetera. It's not, I hate to say, God, I hate to be Forrest right now. Forrest, you're gonna laugh your tushy off when I say this. Um, it's not that complicated. It's simple. Like it's straightforward. It's not, it's not that complicated. You don't have to look up anything. There is some research to do, but once you figure that out, nothing there is gonna be like, I didn't know the definition of that term. Like, I don't think, um, I don't th I showed it to a child and the child got every reference once I explained it. It was a reference. It wasn't a definition. Yeah. None of the words have like double meanings like that. Like when you look up a, that this word means something else. Yeah. I don't believe so. Uh, Silver Fox has a good one. K pro. Would you say there is a master riddle after solving the little riddles in your poem? Absolutely not. I believe you could actually get it from, the let's just say again i haven't counted them i think there's at least 50 clues i believe you could get it with having a very minority subset if you got the right ones of that go oh, <laughs> i made someone laugh don't you agree do you agree mike if you solved maybe five or ten of the sub clues not a ma there's nothing master to it that you could solve if you were lucky enough to get those particular ones, just uh, say yes, uh, you if, know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you solve them and then like research them or yeah, look them up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you get it. Steve Marilat says, Kyle Zars wanted to start. I'm lost. Eight days ago, last Saturday, we released these puzzles. They cost $20. The first person to solve K Pros as of today is going to get 1150 bucks, And the person who solves mine is going to get 1150 bucks. All the money that's received goes toward the winners. That's how it works. The phrase would not, okay. The phrase would not be considered a complete sentence grammatically. Hold on. Don't count on your fingers. <laughs> it's a wait, wait, wait. Let, let me be like at the poker table. Um, I need to give it to the counterpoint. Um, I need to, I will need to look that up. I am not an English professor. <laughs> I need to make sure that that would be true. I, I think it is, but I don't know. I, I need to look that up. Uh, would you say there's a master rule? Okay, I already answered that. So I think the answer is no. And Mike said he totally agreed. Can we mess with your poem? Sure you can at your own peril. I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. Um, you can, sure you can. Czar says, was this phrase always famous? Oh, God, <laughs> sorry, you're smart. No, no, because there's a time that English didn't even exist, right? 
<laughs> oh, geez. How deep is a hole? <laughs> yeah. Um, Captain Marvel, I'm looking at Capro. Oh, okay. I just saw Capro. Okay, that's not a question to me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is so. I, I do have to say, I, I, I'm going to say this. The Zooms have been the most fun to participate, meaning just be there, because different people have different lines of thoughts. I don't participate in them. You guys know. I got a little ornery tonight and had funny little, like, jokes. But it's interesting to see how you intend something and how some and some things are or aren't. The human behavior part comes out of it. So this is super fun. And even this... Ooh even this at a at a higher level is awesome no special skill or knowledge is needed um sam searcher sam i need to pick apart your question i could do what Forrest does and just say no because of one part of it so um some people believe a specialized skill might be accessing the internet and doing research I'm going to say that's a specialized skill. So I do believe that you need to have some sort of outside knowledge, um, which could be almost anything. But I do believe you need some sort of skill and knowledge. Um, when I say that it has been a famous quote, if you are a fen searcher, dip your toe in it, where warm waters halt, a key word, knowledge without the deed, those are... Um, I don't believe specialized knowledge for a forest fence searcher, but I think specialized knowledge would be needed as in, you're gonna, I had to do a little research to find this famous phrase. Um, once I found it, there's thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that know this phrase. I didn't know it until I did the research and went, huh, that's clever. So let me put it into this, this poem. So there's a question on mine. What's the board? What's the board called that you use? Well, I use a chess board in some of my puzzles, but I use a, it's called a Go board, G-O. There's a board, there's a game called Go. It's, uh, I think, an Asian game. You do not need to know the rules of chess or Go in order to solve my puzzles. It's just the board that I used and pieces that I use. But you don't need to know the rules of those games. I never played Go. I just think I watched, uh, they, they have games that last eight hours. I watched a YouTube video on it once. It looks interesting, but it looks complicated, so... Okay, room of just master puzzle people, riddle people. Any other questions? In several of Mike's puzzles, uh, the pieces are on a calendar. Is the calendar part of the puzzle? Anything that's in the video can be part of the puzzle. And I've told you guys what... Um, and the hints, yeah, no problem. And I sent you guys, so in other words, let me put it this way. The hints that I sent out saying this is not needed, that's not needed, I did those for all the puzzles. So you guys know which ones I sent those out for, if that's an answer. So you're saying I, the cat is a clue. Yeah, no, the cats were there randomly. I did not do it 100 times till I got the cat just right. Uh, so the, the animals are there randomly. But everything else, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's part of the puzzle or could be part of the puzzle. The cat's right here. Keekers. Well, the question for you guys, are you guys having fun or is it just too frustrating? I think it's really fun. I think, I think, you know, you learn, you learn for 10 bucks, you're going to come in, you, you're going to leave with more knowledge on both of them regardless if you win or not i just got into it to have fun and i'm having fun sure you get frustrated but you know i think i think the important thing in this is not to you know if you get something wrong then just don't don't look at it as a failure just it's a it's a result that's how you solve these things they're results they're not failures it's fun talking to other people to see how they're thinking yeah, I think the Zooms were a lot of fun. Did you, I mean, the, to just do a, a closed Zoom. And by closed, I mean, it's by invitation only, but it's not on YouTube or anything, even though this one happens to be. Um, I think the closed Zooms are fun. And we're going to do them for Vegas Die. We're going to do them for Agents. Yeah. And anybody other treasure hunt that people want to do one for. We did it for Theodosia a couple times. Um, Eleanor has a question. K-Pro, the people mentioned in your poem, do we need to know who those people are to be able to solve the clues? Um. 
I'm going to answer that very specifically, and I would like Mike not to answer that. And oh. if Mike answered that in the past, in a previous video, somebody said, your answer was different than his, which one's right? Mine's right for my, my video. He didn't know it at the time. That'll be a hint in itself. You are looking for no searcher, Forrest Fenn, me, or Mike, or anyone in my personal life. You do not have to research where we live, what our names are, our family members, our souls, et cetera. None of that has to be researched. That's my answer. And I can't answer? Is that what you said? Hell no. You Last time you, no. you um, might have said something that um, no, contradicted yeah. the facts. Well, then I get my numbers wrong on mine. So you can't take anything I say for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody said, is it a phrase or a quote? Um, I'm going to look up the definitions of those to ensure that I'm right. Yeah. I would say, well, I don't know if you want me to answer. So go ahead. You say it because let's well, I see if I it's agree. A quote. It's a quote, in my opinion. It's a quote. See, I would say it's both because no. of what it's become. Yeah, what does the phrase mean? I mean, I don't. Right. I yeah. think it's both. Yeah. Um, Steve says, are you happy with your hunt so far being a creator? Um, Steve, here's the thing. One of the most <laughs> biggest criteria that I have for whether I'm happy with it is going to be if everybody's happy with it. I know some are frustrated when they see the answer. Are they going to see say something like, okay, my biggest concern was it was going to be solved within an hour. That's gone. Now are they going to see the answer and go, that was a subjective mess. Oh my gosh, nobody could ever get mm -hmm. out of this. There's going to be a few, I'm sure. But if the majority go, oh my gosh, that was clever. I would do another one of these. I get it now, kind of the thought process or being this clever. I will be very happy. So I don't know the answer yet. I'm happy that it wasn't solved. I'm really happy on the Zooms and the submissions because I do have to say some things have been answered that or solved that I didn't didn't know would be solved that quickly but also i thought the whole thing would be solved quickly then okay i said too much let me stop so, so i have a question for everybody and that is would you do it again in other words if we do another one and say it costs 25 dollars or, or five you know, no, 25 five. would you do another one yes All Probably right. most well, people would say wait until they hear the well, rest. Of it. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of this, we're going to send like a questionnaire out to everybody that's paid. So we've got 96 people. We hope we get 96 questionnaires back, and that'll be one of the ones. We can do it again. How can we improve? You know that kind of stuff. And then anything you guys want to tell us, you can even, you know, yeah. Um, Captain Marvel says, "What is the best time to send in an answer?" Sometimes I wonder if you read mine. So here's the thing: if you think you have figured out something groundbreaking, and you, especially if you figured it out in a Zoom with ten or twelve other people, I would send it in right away because you can always—it's not like one and done. You could send one in and then send one in later. But if you're still kind of grasping and trying to figure something out, I will say a lot of people are sending in more than one. Wouldn't it be terrible if you sent one in at 3 p.m. and then one at 8 a.m. the next morning and the 8 p.m. one was right? In my opinion, I would wait until you, for mine, I don't know about for Mike's, once you figured it out, there's no other answer. There's one and only one, and that's it. Mike does not agree with me on this. I, it's not that I don't agree with you. I just want to see how many people, how many other people agree with you or not. But we'll see. Once it comes up, we'll see. Uh, there is not a free one, not important. These are puzzles we did. They're $10 each. You don't have to buy into both. You could just buy Capros for 10 or just buy mine for 10 uh, We've been doing drawings, which are a lot of fun. When you buy in, you get uh, entries. We're going to do the drawings now Wednesday and then Saturday. So tune in Wednesday. We'll go live and uh, we'll do the next drawing. Yeah, well, and I will say, um, is there a free one? No, because all the prize winnings are going back to everyone. It's kind of like when you play, I play with a bunch of searchers poker for free. I play very differently than when I have a little bit of skin in the game. $10 to win over a thousand. And I will say you're not the only one. Not important says, I have been sending in answers already. <laughs> as a Cause we know that the poem has gotten out to non buyers. If you submit and you are a non-buyer, 
I am, we're not answering, we're not considering that a solve. Um, so just know that as well. So the people that have bought know that as well. Um, can you say the average person has heard this phrase once in their life? Nick, you scare the hell out of me with your questions and just your thought process. Um, in my opinion, the average person on the street has not heard this phrase. That is why there is some research needed. Would you agree, Mike? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know the phrase till Capro explained it. And then I, I didn't went, know oh, the phrase. Okay. I didn't know the phrase before so I started researching. It, in that way, I guess you could say it's specialized knowledge, meaning you have to know what to research. You need to be able to look it up. The poem should give you enough clues to know what to look up. So right? let's say that you were a mathematician, because let's go to like Mike's hunts, where you need advanced quantum physics. So let's say you were a quantum physics person, you would know the most famous quantum physics quote out there. So there is a um, quote, um, famous for its genre or its area, but not necessarily, if you were to take every person in America or every person in the world, they probably wouldn't know that particular quote. Uh, for or both for the bargain price of 25 no both 10 plus 10 <laughs> equals 20. 20 i think um, he was making a joke yeah <laughs> oh i was gonna say except in missouri maybe and if you want to put in 25 that's okay too because that's the only way that might got equal to mine is a lot of extra donations and saturday this saturday of labor day weekend we're going to give a clue for each puzzle Paper is going to give a clue, whether or not, which I may do it because she'll be in Yellowstone, but I'm going to give a clue. And I've asked people to send me their answers to let me know where they're at on my 12 puzzles. So I kind of get an idea of which one to give a clue. So, yeah. So because I can says, does there have to be 24 hours between submissions? No. So if you submit something in less than a 24 hour period, noon to noon, it depends on when the noons are. So it's noon Pacific. I check everything and I kind of put those in the wrong stack. Um, but if you did one at 3 p.m and then one at 8 a.m. I only look at the latest. I don't look at the previous one. Some people have a couple kind of in the kitty, so they're submitting one every 24 hours, which is fine. Some have submitted two. I don't look at the previous one, and there's a risk to that, so I just throw that out. So, um, I haven't... Oh, okay. Um, do you have musical knowledge? John Miller asks. <laughs> you have to have musical knowledge, yeah. Oh, do you, ha do you have? Do you have to have musical knowledge? Um, I'll give that out, and just because of the chat room and how much I love you guys, there is no musical knowledge nor songs that need to be no. known about or referenced in any way. Because quite honestly. I, do, I, I don't have any of that. I wish I did. I worked on, well, no. Uh, holy noon, not midnight, noon. In other words, we, or we, oh, both of us, we log in around noon every day, uh, Pacific, 12 o'clock Pacific, and we just check the answers. The only reason we're not emailing every, every, everybody back is KPRO's gotten over 100. It's just logistics. It's just the time to try and email everybody not correct, not correct, not correct. If we get an email that's, if we get an answer that's correct, well, we will let that person know. We're not waiting till noon. So if somebody sends an answer at 11 o'clock at night and Capro happens to see it on her phone and it's right, then she'll tell that person. You, you well, I'm going to verify they bought in. I'm going to verify it's correct. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, but we just didn't want to have to email every single person back if they're right or wrong. If you don't get an email back, you're obviously wrong. That's all. Is this phrase, I, I will say when these Zooms drop off, is when we get the most, or I get the most submissions. I, it's like you guys, it's, it's in your mind. And so you kind of throw something out there. Um, is this phrase regional, like from South, East Coast, Midwest, West Coast? I'm going to say no, it is not a regional. Yeah, no. no. Um, so Alan K says, if you had to pick K Pro, what's the most important stanza in your poem? What do you think the most important? I don't know if you want to answer it, but either line or stanza in your poem is. So when we go from hints to clues, mm -hmm. I believe, much like Forrest has said, I'm not going to answer what Alan Kay is asking. I'm going to answer it differently. There is one, I would say two particular lines or stanzas within the lines that 
would basically, I think, solve it, in my opinion. Um, I think there's some clues, some lines, and some stanzas, maybe stanzas, I have to look at the stanza piece, but I'm just talking lines, that it kind of helps you figure out kind of what you're thinking about, but would not break it loose. So I do believe some of the lines are more important, kind of like WWWH, Forrest always said, that's the most important. So I can't figure out why. Hey, Forrest, why don't you give us that? Because then I get, remember he said, I mean, you're mean, Forrest. You're mean, Forrest, Fen. Uh, maybe I've been that mean. But yes, there is definitely a couple of lines slash clues that are so important. I think almost single-handedly could break it loose. And then I'll just ask you a question, K Pro, because it seems like, do you think anybody can guess the answer? Or do you think somebody has to actually solve the clues that are in your poem in order to get it? Do you think anybody could guess? Let me ask, Mike, do you? I think there's zero chance, yeah, but no. so if, if there's no one that's going to stumble upon this one. Guess it. In my opinion, nobody can guess it. You've got to figure out the wordplay that's involved in, in her riddle, the clues. Uh, figure out what they mean and then you can look up what the phrase is i don't think so let me, let me ask you mike can anybody stumble upon your crossword no nobody's gonna no you gotta <laughs> for my crossword you have to have the 12 answers of the 12 puzzles and then figure it out and think about it and figure it out right yeah. i think yours is as likely as mine to just right. stumble upon yeah right. and i think yours is as objective and subjective as mine yeah. In my opinion, fair, yeah. we could debate that one because we have, we do it. Um, here's the great part. When you find someone you love, you can do it respectfully. You can do it passionately and you can do it where it gets a little frustrating, but then you just let it work its way out. So can you wink if it has to deal with real estate? <laughs> can, <you wink? laughs> can I wink? Okay. Can I, oh, punctuation matters. Can I wink? Yes, I can wink. Ah, punctuation. Um, if it has to deal with real estate, I can't answer that one yet. Um, that will go on the list, though, of potential clues, not hints, in the future. The monkeys with typewriters might get it before we will. No, you just have to. Somebody could get it tonight. They just have to understand the clues that Capro writ. writ I have for. been concerned. I will tell you. Oh, here's a big one. I have been concerned in this first week. It was done. It was done. It was over. I was like, Mike, either this has been said or this email has come in, this submission's come in, this general thing has been said. I get private messages. I get emails, all of those. I'm like, it's over. And he's like, mm, and then, well, let's see by tomorrow. No and way. then somehow it restarts. <laughs> if we're here at Christmas, we'll, we'll figure something out. But if that's we're going to, that's not true. I think we talked about giving a clue a week. So that's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, but Christian said, is there only one solve, Kristen, is there only one solve to each of the puzzles for Mike's? Yeah. Each puzzle only has one solution. In my opinion, you know what it is when you have it. And then you have to use those 12 to fill in the master puzzle at the end in some way, shape or form. <laughs> well, I'll say this a lot of people, a lot of, I'll say this, maybe I'm giving away too much, but. I'll say this, and this is fair because I emailed everybody that's paid on the link. Now, I know everybody might not be wa watching, but you guys can watch it when you see it. Uh, on my crossword puzzle, a lot of people are like, okay, I have the answer for number one, but that doesn't fit the crossword puzzle. Right. When you have a crossword puzzle, you get hints. They don't just give you the answer. So look at it this way. The answers to my crossword puzzles are the hints that go, the answers <gasps> to my puzzles are the hints. I mean, to me, I thought that would be obvious. I'm not giving anything away. Because it's not like the answers go in there. And they know this because it doesn't fit. Anybody who's seen the master puzzle has already known that. You don't just plug them in. What? You think that? Yeah. You don't I even know think that. No, I totally know what you're talking nope. about. That's huge. You just gave it away. It's going to be uh -huh. solved at the end of today. Uh -huh. nope. It is huge, it is. but we won't solve it today. Right. That is huge. Well, I, actually, I'm playing a little. You're exactly right. I do think that was pretty big. And I think it's great that you did that. I'll email everybody to make it fair. No, hit the breaking news. Meep says, hit the breaking news, please. <laughs> okay. There you go. So to me, it was obvious when you saw the certain ones that they don't fit. But the answers to the 12 puzzles do not go in the crossword puzzle. You've got to use those answers to figure out what does go there. Okay, Pro, when you say that your phrase is a short phrase, would the word short be subjective? 
you know it would i do have to say it would because some people um some people have asked me exactly that and short is short two words four words six words just like warm um I, I will say I thought it was obvious it was a phrase. People didn't think it was obvious. Like Mike said, when I said phrase, people were like, breaking news. And it was like, how, but people were actually submitting a phrase per line. And it was like, dear Lord, how do I even, like, what if they get the seventh line and that's the correct phrase? So what I mean by it, it's one phrase and it's not long. I may give out as a clue in the future how many words. Um, but right now I won't, I'll just say, if you have long sentence, if you have multi sentences, you're out of the park. If you have long sentences, I mean, I know that is still subjective at this point. Um, it's not defined exactly how many words in the poem you're looking for yet. Or I, I, it's not defined as a clue. I may give it as a clue in the future. And I thought you said, but maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. The numbers at the bottom of your poem don't have anything to do directly with the solution. It's not like it's number of phrases or syllables or anything like that. There is no math. There is no solution to it. There is no solution, meaning that you could solve it by that. It's a way to help you get the clues out of the poem. Fair enough. Trying to help you guys. All right. Hope I didn't okay. say too much on my crossword puzzle. If we uh, discover uh, the phrase accidentally without the use of your riddle, would you disqualify someone? Chris MS. Oh, I find good, that impossible, but I don't No, no, no. Like if you figure it out, you figure it out. Like so if you somebody, hack my computer or if you put, oh, this happened to me on the Force Fen Hunt. If you secretly recorded me talking to Mike about it in my home, that would be able to have legal consequences. I wouldn't give you, I would be angry. Um, but if you figured out something, you know, some workaround and you figured out, I, I can't see how it's possible, but. Well, the real question, Capro, is when somebody submits the answer, the correct one, do they have to explain how they no, got it? No, there are no. No, oh, you do not have to explain how you got it. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. I think that's enough for the grand adventure. I think we've given away <laughs> too much. We're going to switch over to the Yellowstone meetup. Capro's okay. got things to say. And everybody on the Zoom, when, when we go off live, we can keep the Zoom going if you guys want. So stick around. So I'm going to do speaker view. So it just shows Capro. Well, actually, it'll just show who's talking. But go ahead, Capro. Give them an update on the Yellowstone, which is what, five, six days away? Um, yeah, let's see. It starts on Friday evening. I'm not going to bring up the actual schedule, but I will tell you, I think, oh gosh, um, I don't have the schedule up, so I, I don't know. Um, Friday night has an event. Um, Saturday, we're going to be at the bridge. Then we're going to um, a park near the bridge. Um, then Bullwinkle's um, Forest is buying a round of beer for everyone. First, he said the first 30. Now he's reconsidered and said, if you can make it there, I'm going to buy you your first round. Um, so let's make sure we make him buy a big, big round. Um, and then there will be some shenanigans happening later that night. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm bringing poker chips. Um, I will tell you the drawing has gotten out of control. Sam Searcher Sam is probably in the room. Yep, I see her. She has donated single-handedly more than anyone else. Um, but we have donated. HEK has donated. Several others have donated. Um, gosh, Tony Henman has donated like 40 necklaces. Um, we probably have enough that everybody's going to walk away with something. But we're going to do a raffle. There is going to be another raffle type thing um, because there is some special items that are going to come out. And those special items, you're going to, I don't know, pay a dollar for a raffle ticket just to defray some of the costs. Um, it is going to be so exciting. Um, GTC is going to do a, a hunt. Um, Indy, I've heard, I haven't talked with her yet. She is going to do a hunt. Um, and so just know there's so many things happening. It's going to be such a great um, tribute to Forrest and this finale. Um, no matter what side you're on at this point, just come and hang out with us. 3D Bronze is doing something really special. And the only reason I'm keeping vague is people are trying to get stuff together. We're trying, Mike and I are trying to get stuff together. 
I have to talk to somebody tomorrow, a manufacturer or something. Tomorrow I'm trying. I don't know if I can get it all done in time. Um, just we're trying. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. Forrest is excited. We're going to, I'm going to go live as many times as possible. Yellowstone Wi Fi and internet sucks. Um, I will at least get video. Everybody take pictures. I can tell you it functioned in the junction. Um, Mike asked me to dance for the very first time. And when I did, somebody captured it and I was able to use it for actually a Valentine's Day video. So everybody make sure you ask people about video and all of that. But it is, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. Many people have asked if Mike can go. There is, it's not possible for me and Mike to go. It's only 90% possible for me. It, I may not be able to go. That's why I can't commit. Um, I've gotten my own room because I may need to cancel it. Um, but I'm trying my very best. No matter what happens, the stuff that's been donated, Cynthia only lives two miles from Mike and that will be make sure to go up <laughs> either way we're going to sell chaseopolis mike announced what yesterday day before yesterday we're selling them for twenty dollars twenty dollars what a bargain 20 bucks cash in person yeah and i'm going to be okay with that and mike and i are going to go through our own little stash and we are going to make sure um, that we have uh, quite a number of donations and here's the other thing there's some things. Um, Matt, I have not met Matt. Smell the sunshine. He is making sure this is going to be absolutely epic. The only thing I can say between Sam Searcher Sam, AGK, Mike and I, everybody coming, all of this happening, epic is the only word. Epic. Epic. And I've been to probably 10 meetups. This seems to be big. So... I'm only going to be three hours away. Well, then you better go, Nomad. So if you guys have questions, I have been asked, which is very hard for me, not to spill any of the secrets. That's hard for me. Um, my responsibility at the event, the formal event on Saturday, is to greet everyone and make sure that everybody has an opportunity to get raffle tickets. I can tell you, I love that. I'm going to meet you and you and you and you and you and you. And I don't care if you like me or don't like me. I hope you at least say hi. And we get to have some sort of exchange in a positive way. Because that's what these are about. So. Not beta. important. What's a Starlink beta? Is that a video game? Bring it for fast internet. I end up going get this. Internet. What's Starlink beta? I don't even know what that is. I think that means they're trying to hack into our secret no, I'm just kidding. Um, that's awesome. Not important. If that works, fabulous. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, so um, I will be recording. I bring in an extra video just to make sure if it ends up um, that I can't go live. Mike's going to have plenty to be able to go over after. But I'm hoping that I can at least get live um, as many times as possible. I may go live here for 15 minutes, live here for 20 minutes, live here for, you know, whatever that looks like and any of the different events. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. I don't have my my wingman, my my main slice, my my homie. I don't got I don't got Mike there, which that's the only sad part, but you know what? We always say family first. So family first. I don't know what All right. anything else Kate bro. What do you think? I don't know. You guys have any questions? So between my puzzle, between the Yellowstone event, any questions? Because we are open books at this point. Okay. Obviously giving away way too much, but that's okay. We'll I feel like we kind of did tonight. Do you, <laughs> hey, Mike, if you were to guess your hunt, my hunt, how long until it's solved? Uh, I think think there'll probably be another two weeks or so and you know depends what hints what clues we give out saturday but i still think it's a week or two away for both in my opinion but i could okay. be wrong it could be solved tomorrow you know because okay. probably somebody out there that's not telling us how far along they are and they're probably in the zoom right now so you know you just never know yeah and i do want to say especially a few of you that come in the zoom it's not how much you share i think there's some extroverted people that are it's really great that they kind of share any idea and they don't care if it's good or bad because i like how i think nick put it 
who doesn't put something out there and it's totally wrong. That's just, you got to have thick skin and be ready for that. Um, some people wait until they have their own epiphany and some people they're not being quiet because they're mischievous and just trying to, they just don't, they're new to this. And especially with the codes and ciphers and advanced PhD knowledge that is needed in one of these two hunts. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, I just think I'm really impressed with the zooms. That's all I have to say. I, that's why I want to do one for HEK because I think that's going to advance the knowledge. Um, and one of them in that group, if I were to guess, it's going to be somebody in this group, but there may be somebody not in the zoom that's making as much headway, but yeah, God, you guys, guys are impressive is all i have to say all right um country gary is in the chat <gasps> are you gonna be at the meetup country gary you better be there you drive everywhere else you better be you better drive on over there um okay i think that's it everybody so we gave out hints we gave out clues or you know we talked about the stuff we talked oh like we totally we gave away the farm <laughs> no i wouldn't say that but it might help so Okay, that's it. We're going to stop going live. Again, the people who are participating in the Grand Adventure, you have this Zoom link. You can join if you want to. Me and KFRO are not going to participate anymore. You guys talk amongst yourselves. We'll probably do it for an hour or so. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So, and thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we will go live, uh, oh, actually this week, let's see. Monday, tomorrow, we are going to go live, and I believe we're going to show the Forest Fen Douglas Preston clip. I think that's what we were talking about that we have not shown yet. Uh, after Monday's show, we're going to have a closed Zoom for Vegas Die for those people that have ordered the book. Whether it's 1.0 or 2.0, if you've ordered it for us, you will get a link. And we that will not go on YouTube, but we're going to read the first chapter of the new book, and we're going to talk about some things for the Vegas Die. Thursday, Toby and Shelly from AGK are going to be on the show. K-Pro will be on her – will not be here because of the trip, maybe. We'll see. But uh, Toby and Shelly will be here talking about their treasure hunt. And then um, – yeah, so that's this week. And Wednesday, we are going to go live around noon, and we'll do another drawing, and we'll give another update on the Grand Adventure. So there it is. Oh, uh, Zahar, just, uh, yeah, actually, email Nemo. He knows as well. Uh, or email me. You, you got to have the code to get in and the password. So, all right. He's trying to get in Poker Stars, the poker code. Oh, no, you have to pay us $5,000 yeah. before you can get in. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a good weekend, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, super fun. Thanks, yeah. guys. It's